In this video, we're going to see how to configure and use these Tekton resources. You can check out this repository how to install uh, the Tekton um, itself, and we're going to uh, check out the dashboard as well. So Tekton comes with a handy dashboard. And in um, the definitions here, we want to go quickly through a few things. So first of all, Tekton will um, receive its own namespace that I here call Tekton Pipelines. And we have a service account for the pipeline that then later on will uh, have references to the secrets because Tekton needs some uh, access to our Git repository and Docker uh, repositories and things like that. How this works, you can check out the um, installation here in this example repository, how to install Tekton in our cluster and how to create such secrets and things like that. And then ultimately, it also shows you how to um, get started with a dashboard. And then we're going to have a look at our pipelines. So we already have a pipeline here. And in the next video, we go through the pipeline steps individually. But just to show you how that basically uh, looks like is as follows that we have a pipeline with some task definitions down there that we will run, which is similar to what you saw in the diagram. And we're going to have, of course, some parameters. So this pipeline is parameterized, for example, which revision we would like to build and where the Git configuration comes from and, uh, and all of these things. And we will have so-called workspaces, uh, which is basically um, directories in our running uh, running tasks where potentially we could share some information in between tasks if these workspaces are persistent. So this is um, how that works. So we have the pipeline for our project with a few tasks that we will uh, later on have a closer look at. And in order to execute uh, that pipeline, um, we need, um, of course, to install a Tekton at first and apply all of these resources that you can find in the example uh, repositories. And then we have the separate namespace available with the proper service accounts. The reason why we have a separate namespace is not only that we separate all of these uh, Kubernetes Tekton resources so that it doesn't collide uh, with uh, anything else, but also if, for example, we use Istio, you want to make sure that this Tekton namespace is not enabled for Istio sidecar injection. That means that it doesn't interfere with the Tekton resources. This is something you might want to keep in mind. And then ultimately, we create all of the resources we have within um, the Tekton resources we have within that namespace. Now, in order to run our pipeline, what we would like to have is, well, we create a so-called pipeline run. And the pipeline run basically runs our pipeline for um, an example set of, well, workspaces and parameters. We also specify the service account here. So that means that it's basically similar to a user that then has access to the secrets uh, that we will need later on. So once we look into the individual steps, we will actually see uh, that the secrets um, are available. So this is what Tekton does. It will make them available within our running tasks. And we have all of these uh, parameters here. So that is basically um, what we can do. And in order to try that out, what we can do already is to um, create this pipeline run manually. So later on, of course, we want to uh, have, a, uh, have a setup where our repository will trigger a so-called webhook. So basically trigger the um, pipeline automatically once we push something. But for now, just to try it out, and that's a, uh, actually also a good debug mechanism, we can run the pipeline manually. We provide the params here, we provide workspaces. So this, there are different types of workspaces, uh, such as you could provide uh, persistent volumes uh, for um, sharing uh, information in between tasks. Here, it's basically uh, saying, well, just create an empty directory each and every time a task runs. So there's nothing shared here. We just have a workspace available where we can create things. So in order to create that, what we do, we basically create um, a pipeline run out of this resource. So if we um, check this out here, we can um, uh, fire up kube control. And in this case, we don't do an apply, but a kube control create. The reason for that is because we don't specify a name, we specify a generated name. So then um, we can use this feature here. And then this resides in the pipeline runs. And we create a pipeline run either here, or I also included a script 
which uh, does it uh, similarly and then um, invokes the tecton uh, command line as well so we can run this and then it immediately uh, shows the logs so if we have a look at the pipeline runs we can invoke the script which then will just create a new pipeline run and then we can check out the logs immediately and we will see what happens for our pipeline if we check out the dashboard this is again also quite helpful to just explore these tecton resources we actually see now a new pipeline run here for um, this pipeline and that we uh, defined. We also actually can have a look at the individual tasks that have been created and so on and so forth. So once you apply the resources of the example repository, you will see all of that here. And then we can check out the pipeline run and have a look at the log and what's happening here.